Hello friends, welcome to Therm Science. In this lecture, we will discuss about performance evaluation of boilers. In last lecture, we have discussed evaporation ratio and equivalent evaporation ratio. In this lecture, we will discuss about boiler efficiency. When we talk about efficiency, that is output divided by input. For boiler, we know the output is steam generation, the input is the amount of fuel supply. By using, we can find out the efficiency of the boiler. Similarly, the accessories like uh, economizer, superheater, evaporator, those efficiency we can find out using the boiler efficiency formula. Now, we will discuss boiler efficiency. Boiler efficiency can be classified into two categories. One is direct method, the other one indirect method. Indirect method is very simple. How much amount of steam is generated? For that, how much energy is consumed? Divided by how much fuel is supplied? That we do direct method. In indirect method, we will be adding all the losses and we will be seeing how much total energy available that will give the indirect method efficiency. First, we will discuss about direct method. In direct method, as I told you, that is mass of steam generated divided by heat supply. That mass of steam is generated is nothing but enthalpy difference into mass of the water that we supply divided by heat supply is nothing but the classic value into mass of fuel that we used. That is, efficiency of the boiler is equal to mass of the steam generated or water supply HS the outlet enthalpy minus HF that is feed water enthalpy divided by he supplied MF into CV. This is our actual evaporation ratio. This equation can be written as efficiency of boiler is equal to MO dot A HS minus HF divided by CV. For example, if you have economizer, evaporator and superheater, how to find out those performance? That we will see now. So let's take, we have the boiler. In boiler we have the grate. In grate the amount of fuel combustion takes place. So after that, what will happen? The flue gas will move upwards. Here we have the three section. The first section is economizer, where we heat the feed water with the help of waste flue gas. Remember, because the flue gas temperature is quite higher than the inlet water temperature. So that using flue gas, we are heating the feed water. This is a feed water inlet. This is feed water outlet. So this one we call economizer. So to find out the efficiency of the economizer, that is amount of heat received by the economizer, amount of water supplied into the enthalpy difference will give amount of heat received by the economizer divided by heat supplied, that is MF into CV. So efficiency of the economizer is equal to mass of the steam generated outlet economizer enthalpy minus inlet economizer enthalpy divided by heat supplied MF into CV. This equation can be written as efficiency of the economizer is equal to actual evaporation ratio outlet enthalpy of economizer minus inlet enthalpy of economizer divided by CV. Next, after economizer, the water enters into the evaporator where it converts water to steam. To find out the evaporator efficiency Again, the amount of heat received by the operator divided by heat supply. The same formula we use. The efficiency of the boiler, boiler and operator both are same. The mass of steam generated into outlet enthalpy of the operator that may be waste steam, saturated steam or super steam minus inlet enthalpy of the operator that is economizer outlet that is HF2, HF2 divided by MF into CV, amount of fuel supplied. This equation can be written as, the efficiency of the boiler is equal to M dot A H minus HF divided by CV. After evaporator, the water enters into superheater, where it superheat the steam from saturated or wet steam. This one we call superheater. To find out the efficiency of the superheater, again, the amount of heat received by the superheater divided by heat supply. The efficiency of the superheater is equal to mass of steam generated into the outlet enthalpy of the superheater minus inlet enthalpy of the superheater that is H. We have H here 
this is outlet of the evaporator divided by heat supplied that is mf into cv this equation can be written as m dot a hs minus h divided by cv if we need to find out the overall efficiency of the boiler then the efficiency of the boiler efficiency of the economizer efficiency of the superheater if you multiply these three we will get the overall efficiency of the boiler in this lecture we will discuss the parameters that are required to find out the efficiency of the boiler in direct method similarly the merits and demerits in direct method if you like this video kindly share to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel if you have any doubt kindly mention comment box i will reply to you thank you